Here I want to show you the wrapper material. And I'm going to do this with the help of a ring. This, is, this has been modeled earlier, so I'll just take it as is. It has a few stones on it. I want to place it in such a way that it is wrapped around a finger. I don't want to model a finger. Instead of taking a modeled thing, I want it across this finger, which is an JPEG image. To do this, I'm going to use the wrapper material to hide the unnecessary part of the ring and place it exactly on that particular finger. Let's start with the settings. I first need to know exactly what is the dimension of my JPEG image. So it's currently 2121 by 1414. So I'll go into settings, dimensions, aspect ratio. I'm feeding it 2121 by 1414. So for 100 in width, I know it is 67 in length. So if I make it 1000, it's going to become 670. Also, I'm going into environment background. I'm copying and pasting the texture that is currently there for reflection and refraction onto the overrides. But in this particular bitmap image, I'm going to take that JPEG of fingers. What is important is in the placement, I have to make it environment and screen. You can now see that I have got the undistorted image of the fingers or the palm and in the right ratio. If you think it is a little dull, increase the intensity of the background. So I'm making it 2 and you can see that it's working well. The next thing I have to do is to ensure that I place the ring correctly at the position of these fingers. So what I'm going to do over here is, let me first finish with the basic materials over the design. So I'm taking a gold 14 carat and applying it onto the metal. I want to change the color slightly to my requirement. I also need a diamond which is available as gem diamond in various folder. Let me apply it to. I now need to place it correctly over the fingers. So I'm going to make it an interactive render. When I move it around in the perspective view, I can actually see it getting placed in the render output. Looks fine. I also need to ensure that I do not have the lower part of the ring seen. So I'm going to apply a wrapper material to a cylinder which is going to represent that finger. I select the object. Create a generic material and a wrapper material. I'll apply the generic material as the base material for the wrapper and apply that to the cylinder. This will also help me in placing the ring over the finger. Once I'm satisfied, all I have to do is go and activate mat. And you see that I have successfully deleted the lower portion of the ring and it's not seen in this image, which I can now decide to make. If you think that the reflection is too high, you can always go into the settings and modify it to your requirements. Here I am modifying the reflection and refraction. If I think that the light is less, Modify it using different lines such that it works over your screened background. I'm saving the angle of the camera in the name views so that even if I change it, I can always come back to where I was had left. And then rendering only that part becomes easier. You can see that there is a shadow coming up on that wrapper material. So maybe I want to have more light from both sides. So I'll mirror this particular 
spotlight so that I get light from both sides. Adjust the lighting in a way that you get it correctly positioned so that the brightness over the ring is correct. I'm turning off shadows from the options of the light so that those extra shadows on the cylinder are not seen. Adjust the light's intensity as required. And once you're satisfied with the angles, you can then go in for a final render. The final render will have good lighting around it and there is going to be no cylinder. And you get it, an output as if the object has been placed over the image. So you can play with the output, play with the angles. And once you are satisfied, save the final image. As per your requirements. If you save it as a PNG, it will come in without the background. So save it as a JPEG to get the correct 